Hey y'all, okay. I have an issue and I wanna see who else can join me and say, yeah, me too. Here's my issue. I have stinking thinking. I can let negative thoughts run rampant. Let me give you an example. My husband leaves the house in the morning, doesn't kiss me goodbye and say that he loves me. I know he's running late. He got up late. It's raining, he's gotta get moving and he's running late. Did he do it on purpose? No. But what do I do in my mind? He doesn't love me, he wants a divorce. I can get all the way to there in less than 30 minutes. I can be all the way to that point in less than 30 minutes because of the stinking thinking, the negative thoughts. And what do we know biblically? The Lord says to take our thoughts captive. Okay, God, if I'm gonna do that, how? Like, give me the tools, explain to me how to do that, right? I have struggled with this for so many years because I don't know how. And so I've done lots of research and I've been doing lots of studying about the brain to try and figure out like, how in the world do I take my thoughts captive so they don't take me captive? Because right now that's exactly what I'm doing. So, and here's um, the proof. Here's the research behind why we naturally do that. So we naturally look for evidence to reinforce our thoughts. So if I'm thinking he doesn't love me because he didn't say goodbye, I'm gonna look for all of these things and I'm gonna prove to myself that I'm right, even though I'm wrong, <laughs> right? Because he was just running late. But our brain does that naturally. So here's an easy example. When you buy a new car, what happens? You see it everywhere, right? You see that car in the parking lot, you see it on the road, you see it going down the highway, you see it in your neighborhood. You do that naturally. Our brain naturally reinforces those thoughts. I bought a new car, so now I'm seeing it everywhere. That's what our brain does. It reinforces our thoughts with evidence. That's the scary part. Our brain will find the evidence to prove that we are a bad wife, a bad mom, a bad friend, that we're incompetent or you can't finish that job or whatever the negative thought is our brain will find the evidence to reinforce it, whether it's true or not. And here's what we know. The Lord says, take those thoughts captive, because if not, it's an easy way for the enemy to sneak in. And he comes to still kill and destroy, right? So that's super easy. He's using what we do naturally against us. So we've got to take those thoughts captive. But again, I'm back to the question, how? Lord, how? So here's what I found that has worked for me. I hope it works for you is the first thing I do is I recognize the thought. I recognize the thought immediately. He doesn't love me. Where did I get that from? Where's the evidence that proves he doesn't love me? Like, like really think about it. Don't let those thoughts run wild, but take them captive and ask yourself, where? Where do I see that? Well, of course, I, I can't. I, but can I prove he does love me? Yeah, I can. How do I do that? Well, every other morning he kisses me goodbye sends me a text during the day. I can prove that correct. So you gotta do it. So the first thing you do is take that thought captive by saying it. He doesn't love me, prove it with real, real evidence. Or disprove it with real evidence. So that's the first thing you do. Once you do that and really take that thought and then acknowledge it and then dispel it, it really does help to show your brain like, no, that's not right. And that's part of taking those thoughts captive. The second thing I do is if you know a good scripture or you know a biblical truth, something that can reinforce that, hey, I just said it. The enemy comes to still kill and destroy. So when you take, your, take your, those thoughts captive, you can remind yourself that these are not true because the enemy comes to still kill and destroy. And how do we know that? We know that by the way he's using our thoughts. Simple, right? So those are the first two things I do is I acknowledge it. I use scripture to combat it. And then the last thing I do is I really do try to change the thought. He does love me. He does love me. How do I know this? Because he tells me he loves me daily. I have the proof. I have the text. I have the calls. I have the words shared. I prove it wrong. So I don't know if this helps you, but it helps me. I've struggled with taking my thoughts captive for a long time and letting them run wild and chasing them down that deep dark hole and then it just makes you sick sad and lonely so i hope this helps you find your way to take your thoughts captive and remember they're just lies they're lies the enemy uses because he comes to still kill and destroy but our lord does not he comes to bring life so I challenge you today to challenge those negative thoughts, find your way out of the deep dark hole, and cling to the truth of our Lord and Savior. Have a blessed day, y'all.